So, what are we going to do? No idea. I, I, I have no idea. What are you thinking? I don't know. I, I, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I've got all these amazing ideas because, you know, I usually do. Um, but, you know, they're not very collaborative. Right. Because, you know, I, I don't like other people. What about orgies? No! No orgies, no. No, Phil. No. No orgies. Please. Just no. Um, we can do something with video. Yeah. Because, yeah. cause, you know, we, we like video. What if it's uh, a... Like, but, but what kind of video? You know, something involving puppets, maybe. Film. Are you, well, yeah, you could, we could do puppets again. I see not, why not? When are you going to do like a music video with yeah, puppets? Yeah. If you want to collaborate on that, yeah. we could do that. Mm. So that'd be what, like, you know, like a three minute film, I guess. Mm. Are we going to talk for 20 minutes about a three minute mm. music video? That'd be a bit boring. It would be a bit boring. It would be, yeah. Plus, you know, giving presentations is crap. Well, true. Yeah. Well, if we make you a video, why don't we just, like, do a 20 minute video that yeah, sort of yeah. presents itself? Well, yeah, well, yeah, 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 yeah. That'd be um, great. So you don't say anything. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like we could, like, do a documentary about the making of it. Since we're using puppets, mm -hmm. why don't we make a video about our collaboration using puppets, using puppet versions like it. of ourselves. Oh, yes. Yes. That's and then, then you know, then like we, we're doing like a whole 20 minute video and and we don't have to present it because it, it, the talk, it talks about itself. Oh, yes. Oh, Mint. That's genius. <laughs> It'll be a documentary within a documentary. Should we have a high five? Should we have a high five? Oh, yeah. High five? High five? Garbage. Oh, 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 we're going to kiss Phil. Group high five? High five? Yeah! Hey. I need guess we need to get stuff. Should we go shopping? No. Yeah. Let's okay. go. Okay. Right, so what do we need? Um, some felt for bodies. Yeah. Right. A bit of wool. Cool. Wool for hair. Yeah. Yeah, and something for the eyes. Yep. Dot com. Phil! Oh, why dot com? No. Okay. Right, cool, let's go. Man, I love filming. Phil is a plant, and his contribution is creative, imaginative, unorthodox. Oh, and he uh, also solves difficult problems. His weaknesses are he ignores incidentals, too preoccupied co to communicate effectively, which mm, I don't really agree with. Uh, I think he. It says he ignores incidentals, but that's not true. It doesn't make one, so that's a lie. What do you think of this one? Yeah. It's a near perfect batch, isn't it? Yeah. It looks just like my hair. <laughs> Great! Complete Fersher is Matt. He is painstaking, conscientious, arbitrous, uh, searches out errors and omissions, and delivers on time. Now, I agree with that. It says that he's inclined to worry and reluctant to delegate. Which, meh, sort of true. Phil, Phil! Come here! Look, googly eyes! We have to have them, we have to have them. And myself, well, I am a monitor evaluator. I'm watching you. I am sober, well, most of the time. <laughs> strategic and discerning. Uh, I see all options and I judge accurately, apparently. My weakness is I lack drive and ability to inspire others, which I have to say is sometimes true because I sort of sit there and just watch. Watch the skies. Oh, I've got two bows here. Marvellous. Yeah, oh. Ring ring! Alright! Morning, Phil! So, Phil, since you're the puppet master, yeah. take us through how they're made. Well, uh, 
all the different parts we've got templates for them and we just cut those out of like felt uh, and then sew that together on on the machine uh, and turn the bits like inside out once you've got the main sort of bit of the puppet sewn together it's just a matter of putting like hair and eyes on the hair is just made from wool which we just sort of uh, sew on in sort of bunches uh, and then the eyes are made of bits of felt just sort of cut out or you can use googly eyes and stick those on um, and then it's just a matter of making clothes I mean I, I tend to just cut up old clothes or like baby clothes and and just make little outfits and how about making the puppets come to life well you stick your hand right up the, um, inside you know inside the puppet and we've got like rods that we attach to the arms and you can wave the arms about and whatever kind of fashion make them do all sorts of things really marvellous yeah. Sausage sarnies, uh. delicious. I'm just putting some sausages on for lunch. Oh, beautiful! Oh, look at those. Nice. Oh, Phil, you're a legend. <laughs> so, do we need a name for our group or what? Oh, yeah, we do, ideally. Hmm. Um. Ooh. Um. How like, about googly yeah. eyes? Googly eyes. Yeah. 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 I like that. Wicked. It you know it fits with the tone. Just stick that eye on. Not really sure. It's a bit difficult to make spectacles, isn't it? Yeah, that's going to be fiddly. Mm. Yeah, I started making some puppets for another project a while ago, uh, and they're not exactly great, <laughs> but I think we've made some improvements to them. Um, I did find on the internet at random some ins great instructional videos on how to move the arms and, and things like that, uh, by this guy called Paul Lewis. Just doing my hair. Beautiful. Brilliant. Welcome to Matt's complete and finisher masterclass. Um, basically, the purpose of this is to elaborate on some of the design improvements that we sort of made in the process of making these puppets that makes them easier to use, more convincing. Uh, the first one we came up with was in the head and body stage where we made the jaw lines a lot smaller so that they so that the zombies didn't have a huge underbite. I say zombies, of course I mean puppets. We had a lot of trouble with the arms um, because Katie and I wanted t-shirts on our puppets whereas Phil's previous puppet enterprises had involved long sleeves which are very easy to achieve. So we went through a couple of designs for the arms. The first ones were really fat, the next ones were really skinny, much too skinny. Um, and then we ended up with these really lovely made hands which we made the, we made the hands separately to start with. And but, but when we sewed them onto the arms that we'd made, they looked like we had really loose skin or something. But then we came up with a new design for arms, whereby we make them all in one piece. And that was a lot more convincing. Here ended the lesson. Here we are! Three Whee! finished puppets! Marvellous! Good job, chaps. Definitely. Go team googly eyes. Oh, man. It's hard work, isn't it?